So hey, I was wanting to make this video real quick just to kind of update um, the whole Mel B situation um, and just to dispel some things that came out afterwards that I never even spoke about till now. Um, so my initial video, um, I guess the message didn't come across too clear and then also with all the tabloids publishing the story and change it up to fit their, you know, kind of thing that they wanted to do, it kind of, you know, made everything a little bit off. So, um, let me just start with um, the first one that I've heard so many times that it didn't. Well, let me start with the biggest one that it that I'm lying about it. And it's sad to say that um, the people that say I'm lying, you know, don't even know, didn't even contact me. Like I've had people that I know personally, I, and time now that I'm making this video like things have been a little bit different you know um, but when it initially happened people that were calling me out as liars and stuff people that I that I would think would contact me before they even try to say I'm lying about something um, just because I'm a man doesn't mean that I can't be assaulted by a female and no matter who she is Mel B I didn't even know anything about her her whole situation what was going on until after I was back in Kentucky I did not look into her what she was doing. I did not know she was in a divorce battle. I didn't know none of that stuff make any sense. Why would I lie? I have no reason to lie about anything like that. I've met many celebrities in my life. I've met, several, like at Churchill Downs during a derby, I've met several celebrities. And if I really just wanted some publicity or some money out of that, wouldn't I have done it then? If I was really lying about this? I have no reason to lie. I don't even have no ill intentions towards Melanie Brown at all. Like I'm, I feel sorry for her. That, you know all the stuff that she's been through, and um, but it, it still doesn't make it right that she assaulted me and laid her hands on me. I don't know you, Mel B. I don't know you, so you don't put your hands on anybody that you don't know like that. Um, and then the first hit, you know, that's what I, I would let that pass because you know she just hit me, you know. But the second time she hit me, she was really coming to hit me, like, and she did. She made contact with me, um, and that's the part that I was like, wow, she really thinks this is okay. No. Like, that's why I was wanting to start a movement. You know, they, ha they have me too. I want to start a movement for men. Like, men can be hurt, it can be assaulted too. Men can be harmed too. You know, m men can file reports too, you know. You don't have to be frowned upon or said said to be a liar just because you file a report against a crime. That's a, that's a double standard in America. It's okay for a woman to report something, but if a man does it, he's a sissy, he's a woman, he's a, he's a liar. That doesn't make sense to me at all. So that's just um point number one i did not lie about it point number two people saying that like the stories got mixed up especially when um ricky smiley and them did their little video about it talking so much trash about me um no it was not a failed photo op no i didn't it wasn't because we had a bad photo literally i told her i i asked her to take a photo she she obliged and we were talking and then when we took our photo, I told the photographer, I was like, oh, take one more. And that's when she first initially hit me and said, oh, that's fine. And then, I, you know, I blew it off. And I didn't care that she didn't take another picture. That was not a big deal at all to me. Like, cool, we got one photo together. That's cool. Um, it was great meeting you, you know. And then in another um, updated story, they said how I um, was talking to her about um, getting advice for a, uh, one of my friends that's a music or an artist. And that is true. Whenever, because everything happened in a five-minute time frame. That's what people aren't getting. They're thinking that it happened the night. Because all of these tabloids, Celeb Now, TMZ, um, Paris Hilton, all of them wrote that it happened like hours apart. When shit didn't, it was all with everything that happened was in five minutes. Within five minutes. So we took our. This is how it all started. Came up to her, waited for her to stop talking to her. She was talking to. Spoke with her. Got a picture with her got hit <laughs> blew it off stood back was packing up my backpack to leave and i was and then i i thought oh let me get some advice from my friend from her because she's a successful musical artist you know so i was getting to ask her and that's when i realized her speech was so slurred so when i was asking her she was like oh get back with me and her friend um mal i never can think of his name but the guy her hairstylist that she's always with um he was pulling her out the chair like literally pulling her out of the chair trying to support her to get her up and she's like oh try get with me get with me exactly those words <laughs> sounded just like that oh get with me get with me sounded just like that um and that's how i could tell she was intoxicated so i was like well oh well she didn't you know so cool i i, I did not care it was just great getting i don't i don't i don't idolize celebrities I don't, they're people, they're people to me. I'm a person, they're a person. 
They just been on TV. They've been they made platinum albums. That's great that they have success, but I don't idolize them because that's you know you shouldn't idolize a celebrity. They're a person. Now it's good to network with people like that and meet them and stuff. That's great. You know, but definitely I do not idolize them. Um so so then as as I picked up my backpack because we were all in the same little little backstage hallway area. We were leaving the same way. They were pulling her. The only way out was around this corner, down the hall, to the elevators. I grab my backpack and I'm I'm leaving the same way they are. And there's another, there's another photographer leaving too. Like he's got his rolling bag, and we're all leaving. And that's when she's you know, speech slurred, stumbling, everything. And then she sees me behind her. I don't know if she thought I was following her. I don't know what. But that's when she comes up to me and hits me like, oh, I see you. It hits me in my chest. You know. So everything happened in five minutes. From the <laughs> from the photo to asking advice to getting hit the second time, it all happened within five minutes, and that's pretty much all there is to it. And then as soon as I as that happened, I like got out of there because I was not that it was not right, and I didn't feel comfortable there. And that's when her friend tried calling, "Oh, Mel B wants you to come back out." I don't know what they wanted. I left. I got out of there. Um, so that is really. You know, I have no reason to lie. Men can be assaulted too. It was not a failed photo op. It didn't happen within hours. It was all in five minutes. And what other what other stuff was it? Um, I didn't do this for money. If I did it for money, you would have been seeing me with some gold rings and some gold chains on by now. Because I would have. <laughs> I'm a terrible spender. So if I did this for money, you know that would have been obvious from the beginning. Um, if I did this for publicity then it would have been obvious from the beginning no the story got out and it just went like a wildfire you know i'm just from kentucky i'm a student at U of L. I'm in, you know you know but i did and and people kept telling me like oh you're gonna get blackballed from the industry then i'm trying to find my notes right now um oh yeah oh one more point one more point point number three people saying a false police report if i filed a po false police report then i would be in jail right now like, it's against the law to file p police reports and they'd be fraudulent. So why would I even risk that if it was a lie? Just had to throw that in there. Yeah, I hope that answers any questions about what happened. I hope that makes everything clear because those three things really bugged me that people thought I'm a liar. They thought that it was a failed photo op, no. And they thought it happened with that hours of, you know, the whole situation. No, it was five minutes. I did not care about the photo. I did ask her for advice. She was too slurred to understand, so I, let it off and she hit me two times and i filed a police report that's it with the male b story that's my update for anybody that was confused about anything i hope this cleared it up if it didn't then i guess i'm gonna see stuff about that next but <laughs> so yeah that's that's pretty much it i hope it got i hope you got a clear understanding of what happened dewan thomas male b assaulted me update video <laughs>